Hi guys, so today we are going to see the step-by-step -step process on how to plot a bar graph along with its error bars. So for this, we need two libraries. The first one is library ggplot2 and the second one is library dplyr. So we need to install. Install and call these two libraries. <coughs> and once we have done that, we need to import our data sets, uh, which is in the Excel sheet format. So just browse it wherever it, you have saved it. So I have saved my file under the name bar error. So you need to be careful with the naming so that you don't make any mistake while typing into the RStudio environments. So this is a simple data set with the genotypes and also a simple quantity trait called HLC. So just import it as such. So once it is imported, you can see that it's showing it has been successfully imported. Now coming back to the script. So first we need to select that Gino column and the HLC and we need to uh, save it under the name data. So data uh, less than or less than lesser than simple and a hyphen which means equal to data equal to and we need to type in our file name which is bar error and we need to uh, give a space and type in our pipe connector which is percentage and greater than symbol and again accompanied with a percentage which is called a pipe connector so which helps us to uh, connect one function with another so within that file we are going to select two columns which is Gino and HLC so just run that command so it's been saved under the name data <coughs> now we need to uh, summarize the data because it's a replicated data we are using a replicated data so we need to summarize our mean data for the purpose and all, uh, also the mean data and the number of observation and also the standard deviation so we need separate columns for that and this table of data will be saved under the name my underscore sum you can use any name you want which is equal to data which is uh, which will uh, which is containing all the data uh, under the column Gino and HLC. So that function is going to be connected through this pipe connector to, and we are assigning the R to group this genotype after that data pipe connector group underscore by, and we need to group the data by genotypes. So just specify that parameter there. If it is treatment, just uh, give your treatment name there but again we are linking that function through a pipe connector to summarize so just type summarize uh, open a bracket and type in n equal to n just open and close a bracket there comma and we are going to take the mean data so mean HLC and we need to type in that so that it can find the mean and group it by the genotypes and we are saving it under the name me and just comma and we are also finding the standard deviation here so we need to find the standard deviation in order to find standard error and then we need to incorporate that standard error into our bar graph or bar plots so which is saved under sd equal to sdhlc and close that summarizing bracket and this summarize function is again now connect, uh, connected to another function called mutate so you need to type in mutate which will add another column an extra column beside uh, the number of observation n mean sd and another new column will be added standard error so that is what this mutate function does so mutate open up <coughs> open bracket and we need to find the SC so here SC is equal to uh, standard deviation divided by the square root of number of observation total number of observation square root so this is the formula just specify the formula and just run that command so it is there so you can see what I mean by what does that uh, lengthy command do is that just type in my underscore sum and just run that command you can see here in the left hand side in the console you can see the genotypes 
uh, being listed on, in the first column and the second column is that number of observations. So the grouping is done according to the genotype and we can see the n that is the number of observation which is 2 which means 2 replications were there and we have a mean data and a, and a standard deviation data and due to that mutate function an extra column of standard error is also added and saved under the name my underscore sum. Now we need to run the ggplot commands for the bar plot. So it's as simple I have given this uh, command in previous videos also. So this is ggplot and we need to specify my sum which has these data of the n mean standard deviation and standard error and we need to add it with the function geom bar and under that we need to specify the x and y axis which is x equal to in x we may have the geno genotypes and y is the mean data <coughs> and close that bracket and come up with stat equal to identity so this is a very important uh, command to be specified here stat equal to identity uh, in geom bar means that we are telling the r to calculate the sum of the y variable grouped by the x variable which in this case is our genotype and use those bars to display the sums so if you don't specify stat equal to identity here it will show some error so specify that and remaining is just fill it with the dark green color you can give any color and as given <coughs> the significance is alpha equal to 0 0.5 and we need to again that will give us a normal bar, bar graph we need to add an error bar also on top of that bar graph so for that we need to add another function called geom error bar so geom error bar is that function and again we need to specify what's in the x that is our genotype again and the error bar uh, ranges from a minimum value to a maximum value so here y minimum is equal to mean minus standard error so that will be our minimum range and the maximum for that y axis is mean uh, <coughs> added by its standard error is its upper limit so we need to specify both upper and lower limit for the error bars then again we can choose the color of the error bar i have chosen some random color you can choose whatever you like there <coughs> and you can also specify the sizes you can just change this number so you can see a different type of plot in different sizes so specify that and i have added another function along with that coordinate that is called underscore flip which will flip the bar bar graph if not you will get a standard horizontal bar graph where you can see the x uh, the x axis in the parallel to our just a normal bar graph you can see but it will create some confusion so i have added another function called cord flip if you don't need this you can just remove it and see how the bar graph looks if it is too much congested and very much crowded with the genotype name and all you can use this function to flip the bar graph so it will look much more better then i am specifying the theme along with it so theme again again you can select the size the color and i'm winding up that function with h just and b just which is just an alignment so 0 0.5 is center alignment one is something like an right alignment in the horizontal axis v just is the vertical axis so it's a simple thing so just run that and within few seconds we can find this graph here so this is a flip bar plot which is due to that function that command call called underscore flip so if I didn't use this function, this names, which has been uh, vertically positioned, will be horizontally positioned along this mean data. Uh, so when we do that, when I did that, these names were all crowded. So I just flipped the, I just flipped the bar plot.
but here this is in this genotype that is our x-axis and this is our y-axis it's just flipping the graph up uh, to one side if you don't use it the genotype will be in position of this mean and mean will go back to the position of that genome so that's a simple difference so this code is available in our website geekyresearcher.com and that's all for today thank you